I just slapped myself? I had like one of the most embarrassing moments in my career of embarrassing moments. I just bought a car like three months ago and I'm like, where are my plates? Where is my registration, people? And I contacted the dealership and they're like, oh, you should have got them. I don't know what happened. And so I call again to the person that I actually bought the car from. He's like, you should have got it. I don't know what happened. So I went to this little registration, like DMV, like side clinic that basically charges you for doing stuff that you would probably get for free at the DMV. And the guy runs it and he says, okay, yeah, it's in your, it, it, your car is registered. It's in your name. So that went through, but, um, I don't know what happened with the plates, but you could pay $60 and I could issue some plates right now. And I'm I'm like, oh, okay, so you mean to tell me that if I go to DMV, I can get these plates for free? He was like, I mean, yeah, or you can get them right now. And I was like, hmm, I'll come back on that note. Anyway, I come all the way down to the DMV here in Hollywood. I live in Sherman Oaks in the valley, okay? That's a little bit of a ways from Hollywood, about 15, 20 minutes. Anyway, long story short, I go in there. They uh, take a look at my VIN number, and they're like, yeah, yep. We've already sent that stuff out to you. So I'm like, all right, straight. No problem, I'ma leave here with all the particulars in place and a sister will be rolling uh, clean. Anyway, I get up to the lady and she takes my information, she runs my VIN number and she's like, um, is this a used car? And I'm like, yeah, you know it's a used car. Like you see, 2014, I mean, whatever. Like it is cute, like I do keep it up. Thank you. And she goes, uh, are the dealer plates on the car? And I'm like, yeah. She goes, are the plates underneath it? And I was like, <laughs> why, why you, you trying to start some shit? I seen the sign on the wall. It says that I could get a fine and imprisonment if I threaten a government employee. I'm just saying, what you want to do? Of course, I'm like, I don't know because I didn't look. But I did talk to the people at Glendale Hyundai, and my car is not a Hyundai, okay? They just, not the Hyundais. There's nothing wrong with Hyundais. Why did I say that? Oh, I'm feeling insecure. Anyway, it's a Nissan that I have. Long story short, I'm like, uh, they said that they sent it, so you should just and look. And she was like, you should go outside and look under the dealer plate. So I walked my happy ass in front of all those people, and I'm like, watch the damn plates be underneath there. Girl, girl, <laughs> the plates are underneath there. And I'm like, oh, I'm so embarrassed. So I walk up and she got this smile on her face. And I was like, you already know. You already know. And she's like, yeah. She's like, well, do you have a sticker? And I'm like, well, I couldn't see because it's like screwed on. So she breaks out the screwdrivers, a pliers, two screwdrivers and pliers. And she's like, go to town. And I'm like, that's what I, so I gotta walk my happy ass again in front of all these people with the tools. You know what I'm saying? So people are starting to put it together. Like she didn't come here fully prepared. She don't know what she's doing. And I hope I don't look as stupid as her. So I go outside, uh, take the dang things out. The, these plates ain't, they're not plates, they're pieces of paper. They're pieces of paper and I'm embarrassed. I'm a burst right now. So I could have just snatched a damn piece of paper. I could have torn it with my nails. But I'm up here unscrewing and screwing, taking this damn thing out. There go the damn plate underneath there the whole time. Like, what kind of life am I leading? Like, what kind of stuff am I doing? Like, what am I missing right now? Huge in my life that's sitting right in front of my face when uh, I buy a car and the plates are already on it. Tears, tears of pain, tears of embarrassment. Here's a, you know what, you need to get your shit together. So I go back inside, she gives me the stickers and everything, and she was like, well, it's funny, I talked to this guy who had actually rolled around for a year before he realized his plates was under there. And I was like, yeah, you know, it's a good, it's good story that you share with me because now I can walk away and feel better about the situation that I was at least, what, a year? What is that, like nine months smarter than this guy? I don't know, like, I, you know, <laughs> man, I'm so mad. I'm so mad that I went and bought a chili dog and some french fries and a soda and I'm on a diet and I was like I need a hug and a meal I need something that's gonna love me hold me tender and true and put me through some pain on the other side I need a full-on experience 
I need some hatred in my life. Nah, not some hatred, but I definitely need an experience. I'm so mad at myself right now. Y'all don't even know. That's my story today. If you guys haven't checked out my other channel, I do have an awesome video on there. It's the types of guys that you'll meet before finding the one. Uh, seeing that uh, your girl is not so lucky in love, I've definitely kissed a lot of frogs and I've got a really cool list there, so check that out. Yeah. This was an experience. Bye. <laughs>